Tell somebody, say, forever is a long time. Say, but God loves you that long.
Christ is risen, he is risen indeed, and I am certainly glad about it on this Monday, the 26th of April. We praise God for the day. We praise God for just another chance, another opportunity. The door has been open for us to praise him and to walk in our purpose today. I want to welcome all of you to this time of prayer. We invite you to like and to share and to comment and to subscribe on YouTube uh, as it relates to what we are doing. Stay connected. Let other folk know what's going on. Uh, give us your I am statement for today. I'm ready to lead us in prayer, and I pray that you are fabulous. I pray that you are faithful. I pray that you are amazing. I pray that you're feeling well. I pray that you are focused today. Hey, uh, respond to Christ is risen, uh, if you will. Give us that, if you will. And also, listen, also, name at least one thing the Lord has done for you today. Let us know about this one thing the Lord has done for, for you today. I'm going to get right into it from Philippians chapter number 1, verse number 6, coming from our daily devotional reading, our book, God's Purpose for Your Life by Charles Stanley. I want to continue to encourage you to read that book, pray through it. Today, the scripture is Philippians 1 and 6. Philippians 1 and 6, we'll read the scripture, we'll do our model prayer, we'll uh, take off from the press starter in the book, and then we will pray for today the sick and the vulnerable. Amen. Sick and, and the vulnerable. All right? All right, let's do that. Philippians 1 and 6, here's what it says. Being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Are you not excited about the work that God is doing in you? And he will continue to do it. He will finish it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's, uh, let's uh, pray in our model prayer even now. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord, we thank you for your influence, for influencing other people in such an eternal manner through us. Lord, we cling to you as you refine us and Lord, we say yes to your good purposes for our life. Thank you, Lord, that we can be confident that the work you have begun in us, you will complete it, you will perfect it until the day of Jesus Christ. We have gathered together on this platform, live together, to pray together, to bring our voices together on one accord, praying to the one God. We have one faith, one, you are our Lord, one Lord. And we've been baptized into the body of Christ. God, hear our prayer, and we know you will. You promised that you would. We are on assignment today to pray for those who are sick, those who are sick chronically, those who are sick momentarily, Lord, we come to give it all over to you. We have no other place to go. We know, God, that you are a healer, and we call upon your power to heal, your power to deliver, your power to set free. Lord, for those who are at unease, give them peace right now. Those who are in pain, oh God, ease the pain even right now. Those that are in discomfort, we pray, Lord, that you put your arms around them and comfort them now. We are praying for the sick. We're praying, Lord, as we began this prayer time for those who are having these underlying conditions, these pre-existing conditions, these things that 
make them even vulnerable to other sicknesses, other viruses, other diseases even. We are praying for their protection. We're praying, Lord, for their deliverance in the name of Jesus. We're praying, Lord, for those who are not just sick, but always those who take care of the sick, whether at home or in a professional setting, in a clinic or in a hospital or in a nursing facility, uh, nursing home facility. Lord, we give them over to you, God. We pray, God, <clears throat> that you continue to give them the knowledge, the wisdom, that what they learned in school you'll bring back to their remembrance. Lord, as they improve in their studies, we know, God, that man is progressive and that we know one thing today, but we learn more tomorrow. We pray that they will continue to learn as they continue to lead in these areas. God, I'm praying for the sick, part of our church, our fellowship, but as a part of the church. But then, Lord, I'm praying for the sick of those who have not called you their Lord, who do, have not made you their Savior, who have not acknowledged you as God. I'm praying for their spiritual healing as well, that they will come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. We bless you, Lord, and we thank you, and I take this moment in time also to pray for those who are praying even now with me. Never want to forget those who are on the front lines of prayer, on the battlefield of prayer, in the war uh, with prayer. Lord, you told us to pray with all prayer and supplication. May we pray, Lord, with the prayer of praise. May we pray with the prayer of confession. May we pray with the prayer of thanksgiving. May we pray with the prayer of petition. May we pray, Lord, in, uh, with the prayer of intercession, standing in the gap. Lord, we pray to you. We know you hear us, and we bless your name. Strengthen these prayer warriors. Strengthen these prayers. St strengthen the folk who will intercede and stand in the gap. Hold them, Lord, even as they are in some of the categories that we are praying for. Uh, may they continue to pray, Lord. We believe not just in prayer. We believe in you, O oh God, and we believe you hear our cry through prayer. And we thank you in Jesus' name we pray. May you be praised and pleased. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, saints. Thank you so much for joining me on this Monday. Uh, this prayer time, I appreciate it. I'm encouraged by it. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow at 12 noon to pray again as we continue to walk in our time of prayer. I love you with the love of the Lord. Hugs and kisses to you all. God bless you. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.